Welcome to the Cool Factor. My name is Victor Cool. So today we're going to visit a sustainable brand, Bunkus, where they actually recycle, use plastic, and make them into fashionable bags. My name is Mio, and I was born and raised in Malaysia. I'm Japanese by blood. But definitely Malaysian in my heart. <laughs> so how did you actually come about the name for your brand? Actually, when I joined Bunkers, it was already chosen by one of our co-founders. Okay. Um, it was also during the pandemic time. So it was a lot of uh, food delivery and it also raised uh, awareness with the single-use plastic. When you graduated last time, that you actually started your own like streetwear brand, right? It was more of a continuation of what my late brother started. So I was just kind of uh, continuing the legacy for him. Oh. But then I decided to make a shift in my in the fashion career to something new. How long have you been in business? Actually, I joined Bunkers for my internship. Kind of started during then. So it will be about two years now. We focus a lot on research and development of the plastic of this fabric this new fabric that we're creating mm -hmm. so we were doing one year of research and development and we've only been about two years in the commercial and retail so you always work in this building or you all actually have a other building as well this is only building uh -huh. um, but currently you can see we're kind of uh, in the middle of renovation also because of global warming the heat really bad <laughs> so what does like sustainable fashion I think sustainable fashion it's like the main stuff like yeah you use your recycle materials use it as long as you can but I think for me fashion is also about a uh, fair trade fair share all the products that we create this is not the 100% solution of recycling single-use plastics. We're trying to elevate waste. Like, mm. it can be something even better. It's so actually, how did it come about with this idea of melting the plastic? They saw a video on YouTube of this like lady just like ironing plastic bags together to make like a sheet of fabric. So she saw that and she thought, hey, let's try that since there's so much in Malaysia. And then I joined them and we're like, let's start sewing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Where do you see your company will be in five years time? Bunkers is not just soft plastic. So we would love to get into new material by then. We want to also start experimenting with glass. We would hopefully by five years time, we have enough funds to start purchasing equipment to crush the glass. Mm -hmm. and uh, maybe a kiln to remelt the glass as well. Wow. Yeah. So fascinating how you actually could recycle the used plastic. I mean, like not Malaysia. I mean, the whole world do have a lot of, I mean, used plastic. Mm. We won't be able to get rid of for like thousand, thousand of years, right? Yeah. What the most challenging thing that you're facing right now, I mean, for Bunkus? There's a lot of challenges. Yeah. Sourcing the materials. Yes, we have a lot of single-use plastics. Yeah. Then we have to go and ask everybody, ask the community, Community. Can everybody start like cleaning the soft plastics mm -hmm. and then we can help collect and recycle them. Soft plastics have so many different types mm. and if you mix all the plastic types together, it's too much work. Do you actually select certain type of plastic? So far, we're only using type 2, type, two, type, four. type 4. So these are usually your LDPE, HDPE or your like Maggie packet, Nescafe, mm. sachets. Those still taking a lot of research and development. Mm. So the problem with like your coffee sachets mm. they have this aluminum coating on the inside mm. usually like all the food mm, packaging mm, there's mm, like mm, an aluminum yes, layer yes. that aluminum layer does not melt with plastic oh. so when we melt them together what happens is you'll just have like an air pocket mm -hmm. how about like those clear one like this like plastic boxes oh they can be used but because they're considered hard plastic they can be recycled mm -hmm. they can actually shred the hard plastics into little pellets mm -hmm. and then they will um, inject it into the mold yeah and then you can actually get a lot of different products actually oh. you can make a straw you could make a vase you can make a bowl for your collections where do you actually get your inspiration from i do still follow some of the steps that we used to do with mm. like uh, fashion design like clothing garment it's very different from, from like the textbooks and like you do this 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 True. this this then True. you get your collection probably also look at the trend right now it also depends a lot on the materials that we can get we don't always get the same color like your instant noodle packaging yeah we realize that if we heat it up at a certain temperature 
they do melt nicely. We call this our confetti series. How about like the raffia string? Do you use that? Yes, I mean, we can use those. Raffia string. Um, yeah. It's just because they slightly different makeup of the plastic molecules. So currently for your target audiences, are they from overseas or are they local? Actually, we have a lot more international. Maybe it's like a good 60-40. And we also just found out that a random store in London was selling two of our oh. focus bags. But we had no idea. We just found out from a friend. <laughs> yeah, so it's, uh, it's very interesting how we started out locally. But we've within the three years, yeah, we've reached uh, almost more international customers. Oh, so <laughs> currently, uh, so we could buy Bunkus online. Our website is still under progress. Mm -hmm. Each product have to have their own photo shoot uh -huh. and own SKU. Yeah, but we do have several retail stores throughout Malaysia. So besides a uh, bag, what else do you actually produce? Our main thing to get like Bunkus out there is through the bags and your car holder and all the small mm -hmm. accessories but we are making a small shift towards textile mm. you'll be able to buy like book the sheet okay yeah, so you can buy the material uh, -huh. uh the ready-made sheets from us okay. and then you can make it into whatever you'd like mm. uh, we're actually working with a few interior designers right mm. now um, so we'll be moving into furniture design as well. So we'll just be collaborating with interior designers, furniture designers. So I actually saw you did like, I mean, Bungkus did a collaboration with Vans, the streetwear brand. How did it come about? It was more experienced hub people called Mareka. Mm -hmm. They do a lot of uh, workshops and stuff. They contacted us and proposed to Vans. Uh -huh. Yeah, so we did like uh, Vans inspired uh, card holders. So it was a lot of like checkered elements. Uh, check it patterns and all mm -hmm. that yeah oh so basically it's a workshop where the customer could actually experience of melting the plastic and sewing the bag for the workshops we want to show people that they can actually do it themselves mm. you can do the soft plastic at home as well uh -huh. so in the workshop you learn to make the plastic and then you learn to actually assemble it all together mm. just using like rivet and eyelet uh, we collaborated with TM U Mobile so for U Mobile, we made card holders for them mm -hmm. with the U Mobile color for the TM collaboration. Mm -hmm. We actually used all the bunting, they collected it all for us, and then we made them into tote bags for them. Okay, so thank you, Mio, for her sharing and interview. If you're interested in the cool factor, please press the subscribe button.